Alanis, Episode 3. For the first part of this selection, please consult the previous episodes. Today, we will be dealing simply with these last three sentences. Cibus est verbum dei, corpus et sanguis Christi, fidei manu, apprehensus ore, comestus, stomaco concoctus, ornamenta sunt purdritas doctrinae, sanctitas vitae et mordrum, etc. Nos, spiritualem ecclesiae generationem in prae senti ardrum consideremus. In this passage, Polanus is talking about the nature of the Church, and he's talking about the various ways by which the true Church is distinguished from the false one. The true Church, the delectam filiam, the dear daughter, is adorned with fatherly care, paterna, paterna cura, with all of these wonderful things ornaments, tiardris, gemis, gold, etc. The food, kibus, est verbum dei. The food is the word of God, the body and the blood of Christ. Notice how the word of God and the body and blood of Christ are equated here by means of apposition. Apposition is when one noun is restated by another noun, as in this instance, verbum Dei, and then immediately restated by corpus et sanguis Christi, etc. This food is apprehensus. This is from the verb apprehendo, which means to grab hold of, to lay hold of. You can say, see hendo there, and then two prefixes to grab hold of. Uh, apprehend is a weak translation, I would say obtained or laid hold of, fidei manu, by the hand, not a physical hand, but the hand of faith. Manu here in the feminine singular and ablative, it's an ablative of means, and fidei in the feminine singular and genitive. Thanks to the flexibility and strength of the Latin language, we can place fidei first and put the instrument afterward, manu, in a very nice fashion. We're still speaking about the Word of God, but because kibus is the subject, verbum is the predicate, then these are masculine, to agree with kibus. So, laid hold of by the hand of faith, ordre comestus, chewed, or eaten by the mouth, that is the food, concoctus, digested by the stomach. Concoctus gives us the English word concoct, of course, and this part, coquo, means to cook or to boil, and that is how it was conceived that the stomach operated. Now, the adornments of the church, this daughter, are purity of doctrine and holiness of life and of character or of living. Morum is the genitive plural of mos, moris. It's a masculine, and it can mean morals. I think it's better taken in the plural as character. And, of course, the catch-all then, etc. These are the marks of the true church, her ornamenta, her jewelry. And finally... Nos consideremus, let us consider, let us think about, let us contemplate. Consideremus is first plural, and it is present subjunctive and active. And it is what is called a hortatory subjunctive, giving a first-person command. It is independent, because notice consideremus is subordinate to no other verb. Let us, then, take into account the spiritual birth, generationem, of the church in praesentiarum. Now, this phrase is somewhat difficult because in takes the ablative or accusative, and this is clearly genitive plural. The solution is it's an abbreviation for in praesentia rerum, in the present state of affairs. 